Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about factors that affect fracture healing. Before we start, there is a disclaimer. This video is for informative learning purposes only. I am advising you to refer to the main textbook or sources that is used in each teaching center respectively. Thank you. Now let's begin. So what is fracture healing? Fracture healing is a physiological process of repair in which bone heals to do its function. So what is the function of bone? The function of bone include support by attachment of the muscle and other tissue, helps in movement by attachment of the muscle, the bone helps to protect the internal organ from injury, the bone also act as a mineral storage Example for calcium and phosphate ions. Bone also helps in blood cell production, hematoid, hematopoiesis in the red marrow region. And lastly, bone acts as an energy storage. Fat stored in adipose cells of yellow marrow. In energy depleted situation, fats will be degraded to provide energy. So factors that affecting the fracture healing can be divided into local and systemic factors. But please note that I am not going to be able to cover everything. I'm just going to give you some knowledge about it. So local factors. Local factors depends on A. Fracture pattern. Whether it is either too commuted that cause excessive movement or extensive soft tissue damage whereby the fracture end could be trapped within the fracture fragments that can lead to fibrous non-union. Also in an open fracture, it will cause communication between the bone and external environment. Hematoma formation is less due to loss through environment. That is why fracture in hematoma is important in fracture healing. So, next is infection. What will happen? If there is a fracture, fracture will disrupt the body protective compartment. So, there will be a breach of skin integrity, usually in an open fracture. So, what happen? Infection. Infection will cause an excessive production of pro-inflammatory cytokines. Tumor necrosis factor alpha will stimulate osteoclastogenesis and inhibit osteoblast function. Tumor necrosis factor alpha also will stimulate osteoclast. C. Blood supply. The process of angiogenesis is important so that the blood supply could be reconstituted and the process of fracture healing could occur. In unrim nail, it will maintain the endosteal blood supply but union rate is delayed. If you do a rimming nail, rimming will compromise the inner 50 to 80% of the cortex but higher union rate in rim nail of fracture fixation. For D, local high dose of radiation will cause suppression of mesenchymal cells. So what is radiation? Radiation is a form of energy that spreads as an electromagnetic wave or particle radiation. Radiotherapy treatment can be used to treat patient who has metastasis to the bone, example to the sacrum or vertebral body. Its function is to reduce the one of the pain reduction. So summarization of local factors that affect fracture healing. A. Fracture pattern and configuration. B. Infection. C. Blood supply to the bone. And D. Local high dose radiation to the affected site. 
So next is systemic factor. Systemic factor A can be due to advanced age group. In children, there will be faster healing rate that is due to larger subperiosteal hematoma and thicker periosteum. But in older patients, the periosteal hematoma and periosteum is thinner. Formation of cartilage and bone will also delay due to delayed cells response. This will slow process of fracture healing repair. So the next for systemic factor is endocrine condition. Example in a diabetic patient or in the PTH deficiency, parathyroid hormone deficiency. So in diabetic patient, what will happen is it will affect repair and remodeling of bone by inhibition of cellular action. When there is a reduced cell proliferation, there will be reduced reduction of osteoblastic activity and reduced collagen synthesis. For PTH deficiency, mostly will be covered in the calcium metabolism. We will understand better, but just know that hypothyroidism will inhibit endochondral ossification due to thyroxine deficiency. For peripheral vascular disease, it will manifest as insufficient tissue perfusion initiated by existing atherosclerosis acutely aggravated by emboli or thrombi. So in PVD, it will impair delivery of oxygen, inflammatory cells and nutrients to the fracture site. This will cause CO2 retention, making the local environment acidic. This will be detrimental to fracture healing. In malnutrition, especially in vitamin D and calcium deficiency, there will be also low albumin level. All of this will cause delays in fracture healing. In smoking, nicotine will inhibit growth of osteoblasts. Smoking is a high risk of atherosclerosis too. It affects the large and medium arteries of the limb that can lead to peripheral vascular disease. F. Corticosteroids In patients who need prolonged steroid treatment, example, patient who has rheumatoid arthritis, asthma, COAD, chronic obstructive airway disease, and organ transplantation patient, corticosteroid has both immunosuppressive and anti-inflammatory action. Thus, will inhibit production of IGF-1 and TGF beta. This will cause delay in fracture healing. For G, immunosuppressive condition, example in HIV patient. Lack of tumor necrosis factor alpha especially in hematoma formation stage, will delay fracture healing. H. Prolonged usage of analgesic, example NSAIDs, will cause suppression of differentiation to osteoblastic, osteoblastic cells. This will inhibit synthesis of prostaglandin. NSAIDs is widely used as analgesic, antipyretic, an anti-inflammatory function. Celecoxib or Celebrex is a COX-2 selective NSAID inhibitor will reduce bone mineralization. Lastly, alcohol. Chronic consumption of excessive alcohol will result osteopenic skeleton. Alcohol-induced osteopenia result from decreased bone formation. Alcohol toxic for osteoblast. Alcohol inhibit cell differentiation of mesenchymal cell. Summary for systemic factors affecting fracture healing. A. 
advanced age group B endocrine condition C peripheral vascular disease D malnutrition E smoking F corticosteroids G immunosuppressive condition H prolonged usage of analgesic and lastly alcohol usage I suggest you to click on the fracture healing one to help you understand better regarding factors that affect fracture healing. Okay, that's all for today. See you next time. Bye.